Hello YouTube, this is Santik Eki here, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about classes a little bit more. Uh, I'm not sure what order this tutorial will be coming out, because I already have about maybe six or seven, maybe maybe even five more tutorials uh, recorded on Python, so I'm not sure what order this is going to come out. Uh, the last thing we did, I believe, was on classes, so maybe this will come out uh, before the other tutorials, but no matter. Today we're going to talk about the uh, init method that the Python uh, class system has. Now I've already covered the init method. You know it, it's underscore underscore init underscore underscore and it's used to define class variables. Well, it takes the argument self, but it can also take another uh, list of arguments. It can also take another arg another couple of arguments that you define because don't forget in it is a method and if whatever arguments you put in after self are arguments that you that you provide to the class during its declaration so let me just uh, shut up and show you what I mean let's make a class and call it um, let's call it hero even though it should probably be a subclass because um, of like a, a another uh, class, but who cares? Say def in it. Uh, we'll say self name gold age. Um, level and exp. We'll we will say self dot name equals name. No, dot name or self. Gold equals gold. Self dot age equals age. Self dot level equals level. Self dot exp equals exp. And yeah, let's make a hero equals hero. And here, as you can see by Sublime Text's handy dandy little argument autofill that we have. Actually, I think there would be a plugin there installed, but who cares? Uh, we get all the arguments that we need to provide for this class. But notice how we only define them in the init method. Well, the init method, uh, with the arguments that you define, like I says, like I said, you provide them in the class initialization in the declaration of the class here, not the declaration of the class in the declaration of a class object. So we need to give him a name. Let's call him Eamon the Great. Uh, gold, 5,000, age, 14, level, uh, over 9,000, and EXP, we'll say 10, because why not? Now, you, since I said self.name equals name, since I have declared that, we can say print hero.name, and it will be aim of the grid. Yeah, we could also make function or methods such as get name, get gold, get age, get level, and get exp. But we won't do that in this tutorial. I just basically wanted to show you that you can provide arguments into the init uh, method, the init constructor, or not constructor, the init method, whenever you're defining class variables, and then you provide them in like this. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it made sense. Hopefully uh, you understood something because I know I can be quite terrible at explaining things sometimes, but, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, my name is Santi Gekai, and I will see you in the next tutorial.